Recently, at a state dinner in Vietnam, President Trump polished off a bowl of shark fin soup. Now, as the name implies, it's a soup made from the fins of sharks. It's tasteless, textureless, could quite frankly be noodles and you wouldn't know the difference, carries a price tag of over $100 a bowl, and is considered a status symbol. But what really makes it stand out is that it is extremely cruel to harvest. Thinning is where sharks are caught. Their fins are hacked off, often while they're still alive, then they're tossed overboard to die a slow and horrible death where they suffocate or bleed to death as they sink to the bottom. It's brutal. It's right up there with the slaughtering of elephants for ivory or rhinos for their horns. Now, shark fishing is legal, depending on the species and the location. It involves bringing in the whole shark, but it can still decimate populations when done unsustainably. Now, to put it in the president's own language, it's hashtag sad, hashtag ugly, and hashtag irresponsible. Now, one might play devil's advocate here and say, well, he was being respectful of culture. Well, see, culture can be a funny word because on the surface it seems to work, right? But when you look a little closer, it's a pretty thin veiling of a plethora of evils. Under the guise of culture, humans have done and continue to do things like foot binding, slavery, female genital mutilation, cannibalism, human sacrifice, all in the name of culture. Now, legal strides to stop the shark fin trade have been made in recent years. China has banned serving shark fin soup at official banquets. Several U.S. states have banned the sale of shark fins. And ironically that our president is off enjoying himself a bowl, a bill was introduced earlier this year in Congress to extend that ban nationwide. But law, especially in environmental matters, is only as black and white as it is enforced. And that's not always possible. The single greatest blow to the viability of the fin trade comes from a paradigm shift of thinking. From powerful people, like presidents, saying, no thank you, I don't support this. From celebrities like basketball star Yao Ming, whose public stance against shark fin soup was hugely effective in China. It comes from a younger generation understanding that culture does not absolve cruelty and that destroying populations of wildlife for things like soup is just plain selfish. We know you don't like sharks, Mr. President. You made that super clear a few years ago when you fired off a tweet about it. You also served shark fin soup in your Atlantic City casino. We get it. You are not a fan. But the fact is that not only are you visibly and powerfully, by the nature of your standing in the world, supporting a practice that contributes to the death of 100 million sharks a year, but you have no idea if the fin in your soup came from an endangered species or from an unsustainably fish population. That research is being carried out right now at Florida International University. Genetics research that identifies what species and even from what population the fins for the soup come from. Those numbers are gonna be really tough to digest. Your actions have power. Your words have power. What you support or don't support carries power. In every situation, you have the choice to be a hero or to silently contribute to the dark side. And Mr. President, if you ever want to see a shark outside of a bowl of soup, you have a standing invite to go diving with me anytime. And in the meantime, maybe stick to steak and ketchup. Loads less mercury too.